Okay, this intro is a little different. This is what we're building. The build's going to be pretty fast. I just basically carve a popper out of poplar. And, uh, and then I'm going to have some footage. Now, the, the, the weird thing about this is, is this is April 18th right now. April 18th. And uh, I've already built this. I built it the 17th, yesterday. And some today. But the footage that you're going to see with me fishing with it is probably going to be more like May, June. So, if I, I tell you what, I'll make you a promise. If I don't catch nothing with this, <laughs> you won't see this. Because I'll be hiding in, I'll be hiding in shame and disgrace. I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> I'm planning on showing footage of me catching a fish with it. But I haven't caught it yet, and I don't know if I'm going to. So you may not see this video for two, three, four years. <laughs> you know, that's that's always you know that's fishing. You know, you might catch something top water, you might not. They might all, you know every trip I go, it might be bluebird skies and high pressure and no fish busting. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm thinking positive. I think we're going to. I think we're have some good footage for you to watch here in a few minutes. So, watch the build, and at the end, hopefully you'll get to see this thing in action. I know you will. Okay, so, I don't know how much of that battery died on me, so I don't know how much it got, but here's a good close-up look of the, of the lure. Because by the time you see this, <laughs> um, it might be four years later, and this thing might be pretty big. <laughs> okay, so, on to the video. I mean... On to the build. Find a center air, getting about half. That might be just a little off. Okay, you can go this way. Okay, we want to make that mouth concave. So I'm going to take the old uh, Dremel tool and concave that rascal. Okay, we got him all carved up. I'm liking it. My problem is, is every time I make a lure, I think, man, I better make a mold, because, you know, I might want to play with the weight, try something different there. I might want to change the mouth a little bit. 
But gum, I can't make a mold on every little lure I carve. That's an issue. I gotta work on that. I've talked to my therapist about that. I don't know what that stems from. Overmolding. Sounds like an issue that stems from childhood trauma. <laughs> you're out on the water and your lure just not doing what you know it should do to catch a fish. And that creates trauma. Next thing you know, you're an adult and you're making dead gummit. Time to seal the wood. Ugh. Throw him around a little bit, rough him up, make him look like he's been on the rocks. Never could drum. I need an eye in there to hold it to dry. Top water season is coming up fast. And I'm thinking this guy could get the job done. <laughs> Time to go test. Instead of wiggle, 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 it's pop, 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 pop. Kaboom! Did dress a treble hook for the tail too, so I'll do that. Alrighty, 
get that treble hook all dressed up. Get him all dressed up, ready for the big show. Okay guys, just got back from my Tennessee trip. It was fantastic. It was uh, some really good top water action. Um, you know, I promised I wouldn't show this popper build until I was finished. I gotta tell you the story. So I take this popper to Tennessee, and you know, I've got this GoPro camera, got it on the hat, and I'm telling myself, well, I've only got an hour and a half of battery. So what I wanna do is I wanna take and uh, time everything just right. So I'm looking for the you know, top water bite if I can find one. So no fish are boiling yet. I pull out the top water bait, you know, the, the popper, and I say, I'm gonna test this thing. So I'm testing it. The best, by far, the best popper I've ever made. I could rip that thing, just bam, 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 never tangle. So I'm ripping it, ripping it, kaboom! Fish out of nowhere just slams it, I set the hook, snaps off with 50 pound braid. No leader. I told myself I'm not taking any chances, tying it straight to 50 pound braid. Snap on the hook set. So I don't know if he you know, hit it and turned his gill. You know, they got these little razors on their gill. I couldn't believe it. So, what, what am I going to do now, you know? So, I go ahead and shoot the rest of the video with a store-bought popper. I use a chug bug. And uh, it's just incredible footage. Um, I mean, I say incredible footage. It was an incredible bite. And uh, so, about seven minutes of me <laughs> getting hits on this lure. And, uh... You know, I don't show the fight and land in all of them. Most of them I don't get in. I get only like two, I think, I got in that I hooked. Um, I had one on for a long time. He took me to the shore. You know, he's the one I, I you'll see in the footage. He's, he's taking drag, taking drag. He ends up getting me down into something. It gets me tangled up. And he comes off, and I don't even know he's off. I'm like stuck. I'm like, what, what happened? It's crazy, crazy. I have never had so many blow-ups and not hooked up or so many hookups and then get off on any lure ever for stripers. So, well, I take that back. Sometimes the old red fins used to do me that way. But anyway, here I am uh, for about seven minutes of topwater fishing. I hope you enjoy. Oh, gosh. Is that on yours? Yeah. Did you see that? I heard it. Golly, he come out of water after it. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. You got that on the GoPro? Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. And I, he got off. I couldn't get a good hook set. Look over me. I got one too. <laughs> oh my god, he hit that. Oh, that was incredible. That's a good one. Oh man, that's a chatterbait fish, isn't it? Yep. Look at that. <laughs> Uh-uh, I had a boil. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Man, he crushed it. <laughs> that is awesome. Come off. No. Kid you not. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh gosh. My goodness. Oh. 
Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh. oh, how are they missing it? He took it down, so he had a hold of it. Golly, <laughs> come on, baby, come on. I know you got a sister. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, 40 incher. <laughs> That's probably 30 incher. Gosh, he knocked the clip on water. Holy smokes. Oh, you got one? Crap. Did you see that? My goodness, that was a good fish. Oh, man. <laughs> Golly. This is crazy. I've never had so many hits I couldn't hook up. Need to slow my cadence down maybe. Give him time to inhale it. Oh, I got a boil. Oh, he's still on it. Oh, come on. Wow. You can see him. Huh? Yeah, he, he chased it for a while. Oh, he was right there. Huh? He was right there when I lifted it out of the water. Oh, got him that time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> You gotta love popping for stripers. What'd you do last night? I was popping, stopping and popping. Man, they're so powerful. Look at that, that line peeling over here. <laughs> it's gonna hit the shore. Oh, he pulled off. This is incredible. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Come back. Oh, gosh. Yeah, do something different. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the like button, share on Facebook. If you got a friend that fishes, send it to him, show him. Thank you again for tuning in and uh, 
I'm excited what's coming in the pipeline. It's really different and it's really cool. So we'll see you soon. What's the oh I want to announce something. Um you know I've just been going by Todd McCoster on my channel. I actually am gonna take this a little more serious. We're gonna create we've created a channel name. The channel name is Lure Up. So um, the logo will be something like a fist holding up a lure and you know the words lure up on it. So excited about that. My son's been working on that, trying to get that put together. And it's really fun building this channel and I uh, couldn't do it without you guys. I thank you so much for subscribing and tuning in and I uh, hope to get some better and better quality videos as we move forward. Thank you so much and see you on the next build.